Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Madison. I am married to my husband, Cody, and together we are raising our daughter, Ella. I like to share content of my daily lifestyle as a stay-at-home mom slash full-time content creator and social media manager. Today's video is really fun. I am just getting ready to head out and pick up our weekly groceries, and so I want to share a grocery haul once I get all of that unloaded. And then at the end, I wanna go over some of my favorite money-saving tips for grocery shopping. For example, today I was able to save $53 on my grocery bill just by using some of these little tips and tricks and so I'm excited to share them with you. So come along with me for our weekly grocery trip. claiming that everything here is healthy by any means. We definitely have a balance of uh, the fresh fruit and the um, processed foods. So I don't know if that's how you shop, but that's how we shop. So if you plan on judging any of that, <laughs> please don't. So strawberries were on sale and so I got two packs and I actually I actually saw that there was a coupon for the meltable chocolate, so I thought that would be kind of fun since strawberries were on sale, get the chocolate as well and have chocolate covered strawberries um, as the dessert one night. We always get bananas, Cody eats them, Ella eats them, we all eat the bananas. Um, I thought I got two of these, they only gave me one. Got a box of cereal. I honestly thought that I got Lucky Charms too, but I guess I didn't. Whoops. Oatmeal. I paid for the Kroger brand. They gave me the name brand, but that's great. I only paid for the Kroger brand, but Cody eats these a lot, and we're trying to get Ella to eat them. Always stock up on Chobani yogurt. That's probably one of our splurges because it's not the cheapest in the world, but it's a good source of protein, especially for Ella, so we always keep those. Um, meals this week, we're doing chicken tacos, and we're also doing a um, salsa fresca chicken, so I did get some of the ingredients for that. We're only cooking a couple meals in because we're gonna be out of town this weekend, so that kind of explains that, but um, got some of the ingredients for that. We almost always are stocking up on shredded cheese because if it's not needed for a recipe, it's needed for a salad or a quesadilla idea for lunch who knows so that was on sale as well which was nice we are big ice cream people the second the weather turns warm so we always try to keep a thing of ice cream in our freezer blueberries there's a great deal on blueberries this week they were like a dollar 29 so i got blueberries ella loves them always keeping lunch meat and cheese on hand for sandwiches again cheese was on sale so that was great timing there there was a sale on milk, and so I got a half gallon of chocolate and half gallon of whole milk. We normally do 2%, but I'm wanting to get Ella started on whole milk because she's coming up on a year old, and I know that's recommended, so we're gonna start putting that in her sippy cup. Lettuce for our taco night. Pico de Gallo needed for one of my recipes. Cilantro needed for one of my recipes. This deal was awesome. It was buy one, get one free on the chicken breasts, and so Paid like 10 bucks for one of these, got the other one free. So that's why both of our meals this week are chicken based because it was on sale. Coffee creamer, if you watched my first daily vlog, then you know, always need to get that. Eggs, uh, I eat eggs and Ella eats eggs almost every single day. So definitely need those. And then I got plain bagels to make more of those um, breakfast sandwiches that I shared in my last vlog. But this is a little haul on everything we got. I am going to put all of it away and then I will revisit the conversation to share some of the tips on how I was able to save almost $65 on this grocery trip. Lucky 
Lucky Charms and I bought a ton of other things. I don't know, I think I was so focused on filming this video, I didn't even notice at first are missing snacks and uh, just honestly a lot of things that I bought that were not in my order. So I'm finishing putting this stuff away. I'm gonna go check in the trunk and make sure I didn't miss something. A bag glaring at me from somewhere, but I might have to go back to the grocery store to claim all the things that were not in my order. In the eyes when you joke up a cat apologize cause you are too afraid to hurt your pride. I guess you were just so misunderstood You know I'm never truly gone for good If I could look inside your brain so I did not miss bags of groceries glaring at me in my trunk They just really didn't give me probably a couple bags of my groceries So I'm just going back to the store to reclaim them My fun little grocery haul video is now just becoming a hot mess but that's for life so okay just got back from the grocery store and this is all the stuff that was missing from my order as i was sitting there filming i'm like wow this doesn't seem like a lot of stuff for how much i paid so maybe this is like silly to make this video no i was just missing a ton of stuff and i know like it's everything i forgot is like all of the junk food that we bought but we needed to load up on snacks we're a snack family and we were running low so that kind of explains that. I'm gonna get all of these things put away and then I'm going to talk about how I was able to save $65 on this grocery order. I was able to save almost $60 on my grocery order this week and how I'm able to save that much money every week just by doing a few simple things. Before I get started, my disclaimer is that I do my grocery shopping at Kroger. That's our local grocery store here. So if you're a Kroger shopper, all of this should apply to you. But if you don't live near a Kroger, then this probably applies based on your local grocery. It just kind of depends. The very first thing that I do is I always do my grocery shopping online, whether it's pickup, delivery, or I'm shopping in store, but making my list ahead of time online, I do it all on the computer or on the app. Don't just walk into a store blindly and go from there. Even though when you're looking at an item on the shelf, it'll say underneath, you know, there's a coupon available for this, or it tells you what the original price is and then what the sale price is. Even though it has that option, that's overwhelming. When you go into a store, you typically have to go in with an idea of what you're looking for. Whereas when you're shopping on the website, you are able to go specifically to the section that shows you you know, the weekly ad that shows you what's on sale that week and you're able to look at each of those items to see what's on sale right then and there. So doing your grocery shopping online is a huge first step. Another bonus to this is that you can see your cart total as you go. That's Ella. Unlike when you're at a store and it's just kind of like throwing stuff in your cart and you don't know how much it's gonna cost you till you get to the checkout line. When you're shopping on the computer, you can see your cart pile up and then you can look back and say, oh, I really wanted to keep it under 150 this week, I'm gonna take these things out that I really don't need. Definitely do your grocery shopping online. Again, whether you're doing pickup, delivery, or just making your list in the app ahead of time and then doing the shopping in store. Doing one of those three things is always going to save you money. Second thing that I do is I do my meal planning based on what is on sale that week. I started doing that in the last few months and it has made a world of a difference. So what I mean by that is before I would before I even opened up the Kroger app, I would already have a little list that I've written down of the meals that I'm gonna make that week. And I would just get, in get into the app and type into the search bar, ground beef for tacos, tortillas for tacos, and blah, 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 and I would go from there. Never paying any attention to what was actually on sale or what was a good deal for the week. Now I let the sales determine what I'm going to buy. So for example, this week, chicken breasts were buy one, get one free. So when I saw that, I thought, okay, our meals this week are going to be chicken-based to make use of this deal. That's just one example of how you can let the weekly sales determine what it is that you buy. And this doesn't just go for meal planning, this also would pertain to just the snacks that, that you buy or keep on hand. At Reese's ice cream that we bought, I don't normally buy Briars, it's normally pretty pricey, but it was a few dollars off this week. It's like, of course I'm gonna buy Briars, so that's a great deal. Um, same with those little chocolate chips that you melt to do chocolate-covered strawberries. 
I do not do chocolate covered strawberries every week. That is not a regular thing on my grocery list, but because I saw that it was on sale, so were the strawberries. I was like, perfect. That'll be a fun little dessert or treat for us to make this week. So paying attention to the weekly savings is going to help you save money by shopping according to what's on sale instead of shopping according to what you think you want and hoping it happens to be on sale. The third thing is digital coupons. <laughs> Coupons, to me, it just sounds like an outdated term. Literally think about going to the newspaper and clipping out coupons for the week, and that is not what I do. Digital coupons are a game changer. Much like how I work with the um, what's on sale for the week and shopping according to that, I will also shop according to what has a strong coupon. And what's really nice about couponing and online grocery shopping is that it is so much easier. Your app will literally remind you if you put Oreos in your cart, it'll say, oh, there's a coupon, make sure you clip it for this. So much easier to track versus if you do it ahead of time online, like, oh, I'm gonna save a coupon for Oreos, I'm gonna save a coupon for shampoo, and then when you're shopping in store, it's like you totally forget you had a coupon, um, or you can't remember what brand the coupon was for, for your shampoo, that kind of a thing. Doing it online really perfectly will show you, here's a coupon, and you can even click, you know, let's say you, you pull up a coupon that says $2 off of this item, you can view the eligible items and you click right there and it'll show you all the things that coupon will apply for. So it's a really surefire way to make sure that you're accessing all the available coupons to you and that you're actually putting things in your cart that are eligible for those coupons. So also shop according to the coupons. So those are just a few of my basic tips of the things that I do weekly to save a significant amount of money on our grocery shopping. It's not a surefire method, and I know that some weeks are going to be better than others, depending on how the coupons apply to the things that you need for your family. But doing our grocery shopping online and browsing the weekly savings and browsing the coupons and making sure that I am utilizing those to the best of my ability has been a game changer for our grocery shopping. And it's also really gotten us some quality, quality things. For example, I normally don't spend a lot of money on coffee. We're not coffee snobs, um, but we love buying a bag of Starbucks coffee at the grocery store. It's usually about $9. This week it was $6.99. So of course I'm gonna go ahead and buy that when it's the same price as the off-brand stuff that I usually buy. So it's also just got the benefits of getting you buying new things and, and keeping a variety in your groceries because you're letting their sales and their saving system determine what you buy instead of just getting stuck in your groove of like, this is what I always make for dinner. This is what I always buy for breakfast and going in and buying it. And maybe if you're lucky, something's on sale or has a coupon. So. Anywho, like I said, I'm about to get started on dinner and I'm actually going to shoot a um, YouTube short about the meal that I'm about to make. It's one of our favorites and it's become a staple. We make it every couple weeks. And so keep an eye out for that short covering what our favorite meal is that we're going to be making here. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video now. Thank you for your patience through that kind of hot mess grocery haul of like me doing two trips to the grocery store in 20 minutes. I hope this was helpful. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I make daily vlogs and other lifestyle content. I just would love to connect with you. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.